what's up everybody i think everybody's muted let them say their hellos and i never know quite how to do stream yard sometimes it mutes everyone sometimes it doesn't and i just know one day i'm going to be running an intro somewhere and we're just going to be running our mouth and cussing up a storm right in the background of everything that's coming on <laughs> uh, hello everyone in the chat for, uh, thank you for coming in early we got some early birds in here we'll go through the chat here shortly uh let's see let's go toy addicts thanks for being here robert endless fables mythic dolphin is here raziel kane Derek chandler's in the house uh and then we got eric dryer am i saying that right eric we got thanos the thanos copter is here which is probably one of the best names in history of uh usernames we have yeah that's that's a game quest we got it's hard ciphering through who all is not a duplicate near just talking to each other king bowser i beamer justin mullen is here austin m the titan is here i love all this thanks for being here everyone we will go through the chat more as the night goes beside me i have my usual cohort mr inu tommy hello everyone <laughs> I, I was telling everyone earlier that I don't know about y'all, but I've been busier than a cucumber in a women's prison trying to keep up <laughs> yeah. with everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beside Inu Tabi, we have uh, Adam. What's going on? I guess uh, uh, actual employee of the world of AWOC. Below Adam, we have uh, Brick something. Uh, hey, Adam everybody. and Brick have their... Uh, own shows going on with uh, Monkey Business and all the AWOC talk and everything on their channel. Lots of stats. He's going to have plenty to share tonight. And, of course, resting ever so comfortably between mine and Inu Tabi's legs uh, is uh, Jason. <laughs> you guys might know who Jason is. He has something to do Hello. with this whole uh, toy line. How's everybody bit. doing? Do I still sound like a robot? Yeah. You don't sound as much like a robot, but you are lagging a little bit. So I feel it's that little bit of feeling like we're talking to uh, someone like in Nairobi or something. You just got to wait for that a uh, couple <laughs> seconds for it to make it over. Yeah, that Max but, Headroom uh, thing going on. Yeah, yeah. But you're, I'd say your connection yeah. is. I don't know why. I've had such best, bad luck here. with the uh, with the connection. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You I, were doing I, so well. I'll pr most y'all will probably be talking more than me. I've got a feeling like he, he you know how you can I don't know you know, kink is. the line when you're washing your car, you kink the water hose. <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like he doesn't want to be on the show, so he just goes around the house like cramping yeah. all of his internet cable. No, I definitely do. I don't know. It, <laughs> I'm smiling on the outside, but I'm gnashing my teeth in, in, inside because <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> Violence and a gnashing of teeth. Well, you guys have been making the rounds on your Gather the Tribe world tour to spread the gospel that is AWOC. And uh, along the way, you've been uh, dropping some tidbits of information on, on each each channel as you go. What's been, uh, how's the ride been so far? I'll let, uh, let Adam, let us know. How, how's it been making the rounds? Uh, I, you know what? I've just been along for the ride. Uh, this is all thanks to Brick. Uh, Brick it sort of spearheaded this and has been making all the, the um, you know, connections with different channels and things like that. Um, I just get the schedule and uh, show up when I'm supposed to. Um, but it has been, it's, it, it's been a lot of fun and it's been, it's been really cool to chat to different people uh you know people whose channels that i watch and follow and and really love um and and get to hang out and chat with them and and, and talk about something that i'm passionate about so it's it's been a blast that being I said i will not be disappointed when it's over <laughs> i'm sure right give it a rest um, yeah. I, I agree with solo center i think the next kickstarter we're gonna we're gonna have a gofundme for uh some uh nice deep south internet for uh, for jason That's yeah right. so i think it's like at 490 is where we unlocked that. that so definitely uh drop yeah, those yeah. epic that's right, right it's, now. A, it's at the it's the last unlock at, yeah. at 490 um <laughs> justin is desperate for go. me to start this uh cowboy 
action figure line that that they, uh, Inu, Tommy, and I were launching on our last stream. So there you go. <laughs> I want I want half. Oh, cool. When you start that line, I want half. Yeah. How about you, Jay, uh, Brick? You're going around making oh, man, rounds. It's, it's been good. Awesome. It's been really good. Um, yeah, no, it's been solid. And I think, you know, it's been kind of a different combination of folks. Uh, one of us, three of us, two of us, whatever. And so we try to divide the duties that way. But at the end of the day, it's just, um, you know, when I started doing AWOC content, and that's actually how me and this guy met, it felt like there were no videos about AWOC. So we're like, well, then we'll just make videos. And so now um now it's like well they're not some people aren't talking about it enough well, it's great let's force them hey put it on your stream or you know and i think the kickstarter helps obviously um but it's kind of cool to just sort of see people's reactions i think that's my favorite part of it it's like sort of because mm -hmm. some for some of them it's clear that like they're not necessarily looking at at um the entire kickstarter or they're not looking at it regularly especially the last couple of times you know we'd go back on a stream like last night we were back on geek dad life mm -hmm. and it uh that happened like two weeks ago and so there's been a lot of stuff that's been unlocked and changed on the kickstarter since then so it was, it's always awesome to sort of get people's reactions and i will say somebody named it here I especially loved seeing Jason um, with both Shardimus and with Wade on Unparalleled Universe because, you know, in both cases uh, have attempted oh, Kickstarters really and tried their own thing and made their own figures. So it's kind of cool to just sort of see them talk as creators and, you know, fans of the genre. So it's cool. How about you, Jason? Making the round. You got to be tired of talking AWOC by now. <laughs> I, I'm... I, I am tired, but, you know, it's been a labor of love. Uh, and, I you know, Brick had a, such a great idea for this uh, publicity tour. Um, you know, you don't realize how many people have never heard of the line until you start yeah. doing these shows. So it was, it's been great. We're super excited to be on all these shows, including yours, obviously. We always love coming on. Uh, and it's just been great really kind of spreading the word and uh, just uh, surprising how many people uh, – haven't heard of the line and are excited to hear about it and check it out, you know? Well, you know, I think when, when, when you get wrapped up in your own circle, right, you get that echo chamber of folks who yeah. have heard of it. You feel like everyone has, right? Totally. But I mean, there's right. an entire world out there. Right. In your time, you, got totally. your, you got your pledge in yet? I was just waiting for a uh, sponsorship thing to come in and I got Ford sent it to me. So I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm still holding strong on my on my epic all in, holding strong. I think we're, we're at that we're at that niche of where it's like going to make its 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 own value, and now we're about to tip over mm -hmm. the edge of great value. So that's right. That's I think right. that's a I think it's a good place to be. Well, you guys have gone around it. What's so? <clears throat> give us a quick synopsis of what you've discussed so far on some of the shows that some folks may not be aware of. Uh, since there's been maybe some changes, uh, whoever I'll, wants to take that, I'll let you guys do that because I'm prepping something to reveal right now, and I won't <laughs> let Jason do that because that's not functional. So, Adam, you're up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so to recap, <laughs> uh, what, what. It, oh man, I don't know. I mean, it's been it's been crazy. It's been a whirlwind, right? Like it's been. What? Let's We've go. Tried. Let's go with some direct stuff. Let's say, like, yeah, everyone's saying no, no sleep till Mamba, right? Let's yeah. go all the way out. Is, is, is Mamba the final unlock? Exactly. No. Um, wh wh what's the limit to get to Mamba? Uh, so Mamba unlocks at four hundred and ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Then, when we get past that, which I'm confident that we will um we will see the rhino at 440 we will see the hippo at 470 uh we will see a a weapons pack to go with the pack of dines and a head extra heads to get unlocked to go with the pack of dines as well so uh we've we've got we've got stretch goals out to 500,000 um and you know i i think it's one of those things where as we unlock more stuff in that epic all in increases in value i i think i think we may see people with with all-ins or um 
you know, an all in plus a couple figures switch to the Epic all in and, you know, get, uh, get some more extra bonus stuff. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really hoping that that happens sooner rather than later, because we keep saying this, but you know, if you want the elephant, you know, you can, you can back for the value of the elephant now. And then when it unlocks, you just change your pledge, uh, to reflect that you want the elephant. So it, it's sort of one of those things where, you know, Kickstarter is sort of a funny game where there, there's people that sort of sit on the fence. Maybe they don't quite understand that it won't charge their card. Maybe they don't trust that it won't charge their card. Um, maybe they've not done a Kickstarter and they're not really sure how this whole thing works. So we're just trying to to chat with people and, and answer as many questions as we can and, and clarify things as best we can. Um, you know, with the information that we sort of have, it's a little bit, you know, the Epic all in is a tough one because it's a little bit abstract to think of the, the reward as not being set, but more being like, you know, you'll get everything, but if you don't want everything, you can substitute things. It's just like, it's. Yeah. I've yeah, backed I enough Kickstarters and sort of done this enough that it makes sense to me, but, but I totally right, understand exactly. how, how confusing it yeah. is. If you're if you're sort of new to this, it's an abnormal idea for. I've not seen anyone do that before, so it's 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 a hard thing to wrap your head around when you're used to Kickstarters because it's it's easy to see that it's a it's a money value, Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. six ninety right, so six ninety, and if you you're getting way more than that in value if you just say, I want one of everything. But then you also right, have the exactly. option if you if don't you want just one of through. everything to get one of most things and then double up on a couple things or whatever. So right. it's tricky. Yeah, there, I mean, if there's you a just lot go through and just select one of each thing, it's going to be more expensive than just doing the, the all-in. So, uh, And then the way that I kind of think about the Epic all-in is it's like you're getting a voucher for the 690 right out the gate. But as we unlock more stuff, then you're then that that reward really pays off in dividends because now you're getting way more than the 690 that you backed for. You're getting all uh, you know, every single unlock, and then you've got your your elephant, you've got general model that's just gonna be included with it. Um, I also love the idea of, you know, folks that just have their heart set on mama they can do 89 right now just select no reward and then once it gets unlocked then they can go and just edit it and change it to the mamba and even if for some right. reason you know as someone who's a little bit harebrained myself you know you put in the 89 and then whenever the backer kit survey goes through you've already put in the 89 dollars so there's no real reason to kind of panic you gotta select general mm-hmm. mamba in the back you know so if you wait to the last second and you forget oh hey i forgot to actually choose mamba that's more of just like little god for you like a little cheat sheet you know whenever you do the actual survey that's when you're going to be picking your figures out so um the, the real thing that's important is putting in the dollar amount for what you want to get so you right. know, if you and that's get what, uh, figures, you have that reward <laughs> but if you're thinking a little bit more abstract where you're like you know i love all these but Mamba's where my money's, you know, that's where my heart is. You can do the $89 now. Um, yep. And then as soon as it unlocks, then you can just switch it over. Like what Red, what my buddy Red yeah. Alpine here is saying is, exa- is, is right. So even though there's product tied to pledges within a Kickstarter, right? Th- that's where it gets a little confusing for people. I think there's product yeah. tied to dollar amounts, but Kickstarter's, uh, especially Kickstarters that then go into the backer kit to finish everything off. You're really just pledging an amount of money. Yep. Right? Yeah. And then you decide what to do with that money in the backer kit survey. So you'll fund the Kickstarter. You don't even have to pick an item. You can uh, select the support this Kickstarter, enter an amount thing. That's and you right. just put money into it. That way, when it comes to backer kit time, that amount is basically banked for whatever within that Kickstarter costs that amount of money. So, I mean, it's, it's yes. really more confusing than it needs to be from the Kickstarter to backer kit side, but it's pretty simple when you look at it in a way of you're pledging an amount of money, and this is what you can get with that amount of money. Mm-hmm. Or in yep. the backer kit, you can change that to 
um, the value of whatever you're getting uh, from whatever products that are that are unlocked. So I hope that helped. Uh, now I will I will share and and you know this is I, I forgot to clarify this but Jason sort of mentioned this last night and so I want to kind of clarify this as as far as I can so so Jason uh, are we including the backer kit number so like if if in backer kit you know there's another you know fifty or sixty thousand dollars that people add to their existing Kickstarter pledges. Are we going to include that towards unlocks that exist? So yeah, could we'll, we further we'll unlock more work. stuff? Yeah, so, you know, so that's a great question. So the people that are, you know, if we're at like 400,000 for some reason right before it ends and people are kind of panicking, they're like, well, I wanted my Mamba. It's only 10K away. Don't panic because uh, we're going to do backer care maze. And, you know, last time people added on just a ton of stuff. So yeah. we'll mm -hmm. unlock it into the back in the backer kit. Um, it, essentially, as soon as it as soon as it's unlocked, we'll just pop it there and then people can just grab it off of the backer kit. Now, I will say that, you know, uh, it's very important to get eighty nine dollars in or whatever your pledge is before the Kickstarter ends, because that's yes. going to give you access to the discounted prices for that. So, right. you know, don't think. You're not going to back the Kickstarter, and then you'll just wait till the sur till the surveys are done for Kickstarter backers, and then you'll get that deal. Uh, we mm -hmm. are going to offer stuff for pre-order, but it's going to be at the normal MSRP. So you know you'll have access to it, but it won't be at these discounted prices. So I just yes, the I best recommend way for everyone to yeah. mind, just back the Kickstarter now, uh, and that way you're you're in the game. You'll have your your spot all reserved in the. In the uh, the backer kit yeah and it's like on both ends you get you get to support the kickstarter and help that tick up a bit and you get the best right. price that you're going to get on the item yeah and, and going forward. we're going to leave the backer kit open for 40 days um which is you know it's another it's another pay period uh depending on like when your pay period is uh so you'll have plenty of time to kind of add stuff on and of course, we're all talking about Mamba right now because that's you know we're all super excited about that. But uh, you know we we also we talked about how your current rewards are getting like upgraded as we go because we built in stretch goals that actually like fleshed out what you're getting. Um, so we're, we're going to be you know with with saying that we're going to go ahead and show off some uh, some reveals of Adu and Mala's extra pack in heads that's no additional cost to you guys we just made it the stretch goal we got the stretch goal done uh so we're going to show those off in a few minutes hopefully uh i don't know who's got them queued up uh but these are straight from my painting table so uh, excuse the uh the mess but you'll you'll kind of get the idea we'll be uh we'll <laughs> one be thing updating i want to say too is like the professional there's, photography there's, soon this has been going around i've seen this show up a lot that uh, the Epic Hall Inn is six ninety. Only pays off if the elephant unlocks. You can get the ox and everything unlocked before it uh, for less if you order the all in and add each unlock. That is only true uh, if there are no other items within there. If, if you're only going off the uh, figure unlocks, the uh, additional stuff that's going that's been added in throughout. The math is a little wonky on that. I don't think that quite adds up the way uh, the way it seems. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't think that's the case. I mean, the, the mom is essentially up. two figures. I wouldn't say it, it only pays off if it was unlocked. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, guys, look at where we're at right now, and we still got eight days left. The last like forty eight hours is going to go bazonkers. Um, yes. and, then, yes. and then we've got the whole 40 days of the of the stretch goal period. Uh, I guess just what I want to emphasize is like make sure you back the Kickstarter so that way you have access to the Kickstarter discounts. Right. That's the important now, thing. If I can offer the okay, so for anybody who's like, I have no idea what a backer kit is. This is my first time doing a Kickstarter, and you guys are talking about adding stuff. I'm confused. Let me just offer like a quick, quick and dirty recap of that. So when a Kickstarter ends, everybody who's backed it has the opportunity to like 
definitively say these are the figures I actually want. And that happens after in this survey. Okay. So at that time, there is this thing on Kickstarter called Backer Kit. That's just sort of the toolkit that's used to do that. Once that's all done, then Backer Kit will be opened up to anybody who did not back the Kickstarter to be able to pre-order these figures. But I want to emphasize the part that Jason said, because that might not have made sense if you don't know what a backer kit is. If you did not back before the Kickstarter ended and you want to go to backer kit after, please don't think that you're going to get the same price because you will not. You will be at okay. that time paying the, uh, the MSRP. And if I can stress that, if you're looking at your screen right now, just to give you a sense, um, this is scenario one. Let's just say I just wanted the originally <clears throat> offered items. If you end up buying all the originally offered items, just as single items, for whatever reason, you didn't want any of the packages. I'm just going to get the ones that were there based on the Kickstarter prices. Well, based on the Kickstarter prices, those add up to 384. If you want to get a sense of how much of a deal that is compared to the estimated retail prices, those are going to be at 459.88. So you might be saying, yeah, that's 75 bucks more. I think I can hang on and wait. Uh, you know, that's fine. I'd, I'd rather just wait till either the backer kit without backing or through a retailer. That's your choice. But if you take advantage of one of the all-in packages, instead of going them as single items and you're getting everything that was originally offered, you're now paying 325 which you can compare the price to even just picking them up as singles. Now compare that to... The retail prices, now you're saving $134.88. Now, all this stuff, we keep talking about the Epic All-In and the Unlocks. Again, if you're not familiar with Kickstarters, and I'm not trying to talk down to anyone, that's just, you know, a lot of folks are like, huh? Um, we've been unlocking things since the beginning. Those were not considered part of the original Kickstarter as we hit uh, different goals, uh, dollar amounts. Things are now available as part of, these, of this Kickstarter. So the goal is to unlock everything, collect enough money during the Kickstarter phase to be able to unlock everything that we had planned. So this scenario right here is if you, for whatever reason, wanted to buy them all as single items, um, you in the Kickstarter price, ignore that, just the, in the Kickstarter prices, right? $33 for a standard figure, $45 for a deluxe figure, and on and on for the bigger figures. You're paying $9.19, which is still a savings compared to the retail prices of about $155. But why would you do that if you had this thing called the Epic All-In, which gets you all the original stuff, anything that's unlocked. So again, in this scenario, if we unlock everything, that means you're getting everything that's being offered by this thing. It's being offered at $650. If we unlock everything, that's an estimated, uh, and again, it's going to cost you $1,074 at retail. Essentially, Spiro is giving you the equivalent of $424 in figures. Now, here's the funny thing. If for some reason you're like, yeah, you know what? I only really like Mamba and like 30 lizards. And that works out to be that dollar amount. You can do that as well. So there's like a, and it's really complicated. It's, it's, you Kato summed it up. It's like, I've never seen anyone do this, which is why I love Animal Warriors of the Kingdom and yeah, Spiro. Yeah. Because right. like. We're literally giving you, they're literally giving you $424 in the equivalent. That's an option, which, you know, I've said this before, and I absolutely love the Four Horsemen and Mythic Legions. But when that wave comes up and I'm doing an all-in and trying to get a deal, that works out to be the equivalent of one additional Yeah, you figure. get about a figure for free, and that's great. And not compared to estimated, yeah, compared, yeah. To, compared to retail, I'm saving more. Mm -hmm. But this is something special and this is something that was pushed with with jason to be like hey you know a lot of people were like why are you doing a kickstarter you're an established line already well one people only had the figures really for one year two we're unlocking like seven new bucks it's all, yeah it's all new bucks it's a, it's a whole new toy line at this point <laughs> but it's like right. it's like a one v2 yeah but we're like rewarding people who want to get down who want to be down and like exactly. basically invest exactly it's, it's it. a thank you for it's a thank you for yep. kind of getting in on the ground floor, so to speak. Yeah. Do y'all want to answer uh, Austin's question? Yeah. Austin here. Um, see here. Once now, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Once the Kickstarter ends, you'll be charged. The yes. Amount. Right. You're going to be charged as soon as the Kickstarter ends. Um, so what 
what would happen is if he doesn't want to get, you know, the figures that he had in mind on the Kickstarter, that pledge essentially turns into a voucher. So that way you're going to have uh, a credit in the Kickstarter survey or the backer kit survey. So uh, they'll he'll still have access to $690 worth of goodies. And, uh, but you, but won't, you, know, you won't be able to change your to pledge F amount after the Kickstarter. Once that Kickstarter ends, you your pledge amount to. is yeah. set. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you uh, can do whatever you want offer, with that 690 but. Exactly. They Yeah, they do offer add-ons, um, but that's something that's taken through the backer kit itself. Uh, so, you know, after you finish your survey, it'll say, hey, do you want to add anything else on? Um, and, you know, just backer kit surveys myself i'll tell you uh one of the things that they've added which is such a huge help is vis like we're gonna have thumbnails because you know a lot of times you're gonna be going through and you're not gonna remember everyone's name all the characters names so you'll you'll be looking at visual aids to where you're like oh i want three of the red lizard or you know i want three of the bulldog not necessarily having to know about the name <laughs> care bear homage right. would be amazing that's funny <laughs> that would be awesome so anytime, you got any questions, questions anything you want to bring up i will say that graphic there explained some things to me that i didn't quite understand so that that's very helpful i you know i don't really know anything about kickstarter to be truthful i've never really backed anything but that mm -hmm. savings is amazing You're getting 400 and some dollars for figures i mean yeah, I mean, there's yeah, no doubt really that the, six, the 640 is a big chunk. Like, we can't downplay the fact that that's yeah. a lot of money yeah. right now. It, like, it really so. is, and, and we wanted to build in that value. You know, we were like, you know, this is a, a substantial amount of money, uh, and we want to thank the tribe for, you know, believing in us and, and being that excited to back that amount of money. Um, but, yeah, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. I like it was something important, but it just completely <laughs> left my brain. Justin says, is the graphic on the Kickstarter page? Am I missing something? Pop that pop that back up there, Rick, if you have it available. Yeah, sure. Um, it is not. I realize, like, even as we're talking, like, you just said 640. I was like, wait, is it 640? Obviously, there's some, some number issues. Is it 640 or 650? 650. 650. 650. Yeah. I've oh, said okay. 640, 690. I've said it all over the place. But no problem. I think yeah, mine ended up being gonna... 690 after shipping. Like, since yes. it calculates shipping. Exactly. Same 90. with me. Six, 690, which is, again, pretty cool considering <laughs> you're where you're at and I'm where I'm at. And it's, uh, yeah. Okay. Hold yeah, on. We, we, have, we almost couldn't be any further apart and still be on the same continent. So, so yeah. And so here, here is the graphic. And again, I just want to emphasize, this is all presuming that everything is unlocked, which is like the important thing for this last sort of leg of the life of the campaign. We want to push. We know it's going to go up because that's, that is the general nature of all of these things. There are folks who at the end, they're like, I've been waiting. I've been, I just want to make sure I had the money or for whatever reason I've been waiting and they're going to jump in. So there'll be some level of uptick. Our hope is that that uptick is strong and goes through Mamba. And as we'll see today, if you didn't notice on the Kickstarter, we're actually past Mamba now. Like Mamba's great, but Mamba's kind of old news because there's yep. two other things above it. And actually, we just added a third one, didn't we? Um, new girl from, um, didn't we just add Jason's internet at the very top? So <laughs> we did. We had Jason's so, internet. Yeah, at five that, I feel like that should be like the last stretch goal. Yeah. So. Um, but that's the important thing. And that's where some folks in, earlier in the chat are saying, well, it's only worth it if Mamba is unlocked, because it's true that if not everything is unlocked, what we're saying here is that for the Epic call in, you're going to be getting everything that's unlocked. The more things that are unlocked, the more value gets shoved right. into that Epic all in. That's right. I think it's a, I think it's a brilliant thing. Like I said, it's, it's, it's not belittling the fact that folks are spending $650. It's, yeah, it's a yeah. lot of money. It, it's a big deal to yeah. us. You know, that's a huge, yeah, that's, right. know, yeah. that's a huge uh, shot of confidence and, and, and it's, it's very flattering and we don't take it lightly. Um, but, yeah. but, you know, as Jason, the, as, the, oh, sorry, the, go the whole mama situation is, you know, it's a split that you're, you know, that are being added on to, 
the all in, you know, that's the, yeah. that's kind of the way I think of it. So it is very much like an icing on the cake type of thing, but uh, it, it doesn't like make the all in epic any like less attractive to, in my opinion, you know, if for some reason mama doesn't get unlocked, I do get it. Uh, but I mean, I'm so confident it's going to get unlocked either during the Kickstarter or shortly after the surveys get pushed through. I mean, I'm not sweating it at all. I'm just kind of like, oh, we'll just, yeah, yeah. we're just kind of waiting well, until just, it gets unlocked, you know? Ner it's nerve wracking on your end, just trying to sit back and watch the clock tick and see how, you know, at this point, it's how successful it's going to be, not if it will be successful. Right. Right. Um, Scott Alderman had a question. If you back the all in, which is only the original items, no unlocks, how does that affect the extra heads now that they are going to be packed in with figures as opposed to a head pack? Um, oh, does it? To be clear, that the the um, the heads the heads are if they're unlocked, they're unlocked, and those heads um, you're not being charged for those. They were never to yeah. be offered as sort of for sale separately. The well, they were initially, but we changed, we changed our sure. mind. So. Changed yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not yeah. to confuse. So it's simple, like it's, the, at the end yeah, of the, the day, simplify. You, simplify. It's just those those once they're unlocked. The idea from Spiro is like, okay, cool, they're unlocked. We're just going to put them in every figure. Yeah, we're not, we're not taking the any of the heads out of the package because yeah. you didn't back the epic all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One it's, by one, you're, we're taking all yeah. the heads yeah. out you of the package. You know how much trouble that would be for us? Yeah, you'll yeah, have a little gap. Yeah, like if you so didn't pack the epic all in, there's a little gap in your in your packaging where a head would fit. Like, but yeah. if we we, we have mean, to manually sure take them out because we can't even get the factory to do, do that. Yeah, for sure. And just at the I'm end of the day, like, still right, like manually like pulling heads out and like before they send them out, you know. Uh, yeah, they're gonna end well, their contract with you. Is, <laughs> I've backed enough Kickstarters and I've done enough Kickstarters where I know like the end trajectory. I, we know what it's going to do. Uh, we're still in the the middle marathon stage that I like to call it. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like you know don't panic. This is all just the way it. The, this is the way Kickstarters unfold. Yeah. Right now we're basically just kind of showing you goodies that you're going to get. You know, right. Uh, we'll, we'll be showing off the two head pack ins. For, uh, from Mala and Jadu uh, in a few seconds. And right now it's just like you put in what you want to back and you kind of just hang out until the the craziness of the last 48 hours is upon us. You know, so we've still got eight days to go. Or, well, I guess it's, is it seven days now? Let's see here. Seven. Eight days, yeah. yeah so it, it's just, a, it's right just now. kind of, you know, hang in there, watch us show off some cool stuff and uh, and be silly on these uh, on these streams. Speaking of showing off some cool stuff, we're going to, uh, any questions that come up, I'm going to star them that I see. I'll star them to, okay. to ask. Before we do the, before, before we do some reveals, do you want to bring up that yeah. thing that I shared there just to sort of give people an idea of, of sort of where our confidence. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I I'm sharing that as well, but. I'll, oh, you I'm, have it as well. Okay. You're good. Go for it. But oh, yeah, the. Well. So this is this is uh, Brian Brink, who is an awesome dude. He is the master of the charts. He's done charts for like all the Has Labs that have happened, a whole bunch of other Kickstarters. He did one for uh, Hatter's Kickstarter as well. Um, he worked up this this uh, chart here. This is available on GeekDadLife.com, um, and if you want to go and check this out, you know it updates uh, daily. It it actually updates every few hours. Uh, so it actually shows like where we're at every few hours and then sort of every day sort of locks in one of these points. Um, but this, this sort of dark red line is the trajectory that we're on. So we, we had that initial spike right at the be beginning, as you expect to, um, this, okay. this lighter line here, um, this one below here, this is the original Kickstarter. So we're actually doing better than the original kickstarter there was a little spot in the middle where we dropped off then there's these two spikes so people have sort of mentioned in the chat too about retailer um you know retailer numbers affecting the chart uh these two spikes are where we added retailer numbers in so the the retailer numbers are in there um we are sort of hoping that we'll see a bit more of a boost at the end from a couple other retailers that we're sort of waiting on to but uh they, they they have been included sort of in the process, but 
you can sort of see that the the you know there was a retailer bump, bump sort of right there as well with the original Kickstarter. So, like Jason's saying, like we we have a pretty good idea of where we're going with this and and what's going to happen. And if you look you look at the last couple days of the first Kickstarter, you know we went up a huge amount in that last day. That's the last day. So that's kind of how Kickstarters work. People. People are sort of lining up their orders. They're lining up their their ducats, their buttons, whatever it is you know that they're that they're sort of using uh, as as payment. Uh, it, it, it's credit card. But it's credit card on our end. But um, but we will we have more days than the original Kickstarter as well. So we we anticipate that this will go a little bit higher, and then we'll see a spike at the end, which hopefully sort of ends up you know somewhere up here. Um, and and Brian oh. added the. Uh, all yeah. the rest of them in there so if um, i could chime in real quick adam just to be yeah. clear you said that so the graph if you'll notice kind of continues to the right with more days with that deadline little arrow can you point to that down at the bottom so just to to, to point out that the original kickstarter you'll see the deadline was way over there because this kickstarter was intentionally yeah, it, was like, it was like a little more than yeah. 35 days yeah 36 so so just yeah. if you're so trying this, to compare one to one and you're longer. looking like yeah, if you're comparing one to one, just don't do that because that's it's not true. Like if you're looking at the the overall trend, yeah. it's a little bit longer. So that curve is is almost like exactly the way the curve was. Yeah, we're kind of in time. this part of the curve right yeah. now. Yeah. And so just to, on that note, I don't know. Are you on GDL or are you on something else? Because oh, that was GDL. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me just to give you. Uh, another because like you know you're like well that's great that was last time that doesn't really necessarily indicate what's happening now um oops wrong button oh you're still on gdl that's how great feels. that's that feel brick except be like that <laughs> could you go back to um could you go back to oh here can you share my window there uh you know, Tabby? Or actually, I don't know who, who's, who's driving. <laughs> who's driving? <laughs> Nobody's driving. I'm trying to be chewy, Pardon. chewy, chewy. All right. So this is the AWOC one and you kind of get the general pattern. Again, if you're not normally paying attention to this, this, um, this sort of crowdfunding thing, I totally get it. The horse looks awesome. Skeleton horse. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> squirrel. Uh, the <laughs> the Haslab. This is these are Haslab. The Transformers. You'll see the exact same progression. And then these are other Transformers. It's just what ones. it is. It's, it's it's the it's just like a you know you have yeah, normal bell curves. Yeah, a lot of people I wait until the recommend... last minute to see what they're gonna get. Like yep. what's what's exactly. unlocked. What's what what am I really yep. gonna get here at the end? Yeah, that's that's right. what you and Tommy are doing. Do we look worried? <laughs> <to see all. laughs> just, Here's. Just the G.I. Joe Dragonfly, yeah. same general thing, although hey, everyone wanted that Dragonfly real early, right? So there was a lot of increase there, but you'll right. notice that basic curve. It's still the same type of thing, yeah. I mean, it is. Look at like Hatter's. I said, like, Hatter's. It had you know. a huge spike at the end. Yeah, here's yeah. Mad Hatter. Yeah. Just last week, congratulations to want them. And just hang out and watch us show off these <laughs> unlocks, you know? That's right. Look at that. Uh, uh, let's I just see. The what did they finish out at? It was like a little over two hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred four or two hundred six. Freaking awesome, man! I'm let's, proud of them. Here's a giant. That's man, so awesome, right? If can we, we, we we see there are exceptions, there are exceptions to the pattern. We could yeah, bring up sure. we could bring up the Ghost Rider say, car, but that's I not. Yeah. Is very different. Now we're gonna jinx oh, it. Now we're gonna jinx it. This is the cat's lair. Sorry, I was oh, looking yeah. for the I was looking for the Cobra mothership, but no, let's not be those people. Let's, let's yeah. <laughs> that's just mean. Man. That's just mean, you bunch of meanies. We got to see the cat slayer um at, at PowerCon and it was so cool to like because you know we were there as 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 uh exhibitors, so like we got to see it before they put the plexiglass and everything on it. You know, we were like like wanting to like feel all the little parts and accessories and stuff that they had. But uh, yeah, what do y'all what do y'all think? You think we should show off those alternate heads? I do yeah. think so, but I'll just say if you've got a cat slayer, you know what'll look really good in that cat slayer? A bunch of house fearless. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. You know what? It's funny you say that because I found a box. I was looking for some other action figures that were not AWOC related, 
I was like, maybe this box. And I opened it up and it was like just a bunch of Feralist army builders that I had from PowerCon. And I was like, oh, that's where those were. So I get to break those <laughs> out. And, uh, I, I was like, man, where are yeah, I'm pretty sure those are mine, Jason. At? Feel free to send them. No, oh, maybe so. Actually, yeah, that's, that's not a bad, uh, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're slightly played with. Just divvy, divvy them around. That's that's the way I described myself to the wife when I got married. It's like, I'm fine. I'm just slightly played with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loose but complete. Yeah, I'm loose but complete. Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, oh. All right, what are we going to reveal a, now? Better than having a completely loose butt. Yeah, let's do the... Let's, uh, let's reveal one of the female heads. Actually... Yeah, sure. It's just that you mentioned Vitus and uh, Zwar, and I don't know that that's even something oh, that maybe everybody's show those aware off? of. Let's show those off. Let's yeah, those probably. Off. All right, yeah, we should. Switch, switching the gameplay. We got folks watching now. This is the, right. this is that's, the rhino. That's called a tease. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, I have the Kickstarter up if you want to use mine or if you want to do it. Hey, let's uh, yeah, let's get Jason. I, I definitely can't do it. Here you go. Jason. I can barely read. <laughs> I'm not doing it. We can, we can show you in 140p. Real video. You guys remember real audio, real video? Real video. Hey, this that's not gonna work. <laughs> download the download the plugin. Get the Netscape <laughs> extension. Yeah. All right. We got uh I'm using also... a CD for my internet. Right. That's normal, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the campaign, and this is how we. Ha this was added relatively uh, not too. This was not in the beginning, about a week uh, ago. But yeah, and we added that to to show off the scale. And there was always this weird little figure here that was not anywhere to be found, but we knew that there was Mamba. Just look at that, real quick. Come on, seven new bucks next to the two Man. bucks that already exist. That's just a zoo. So then. This is all stuff that was there, things that got unlocked, and you're scrolling and you're scrolling, yeah, and yeah. we're like, oh, we're talking about Mamba, Mamba. We're gotta get to Mamba. No sleep till Mamba. So we go past the speeders. We go speedsters. We get through that. We get through the birds, which are rad, by the way. And then yeah, we the get birds. to got here, and then we're like, yeah, Mamba, I'm cool. The un the unlock. And then we're like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a oh, second. Wait. That's it. What? It's gone. So then I reload. That window's been open for a yeah, long wait time. Wait a second. Um, <laughs> I was like, I second. loaded those yesterday. They should be there. That, yeah. What's going great. on? Awkward. That was awesome. Here we tried to be slick. I tried to be slick. But oh, wait, 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 oh. Right. showing up. So now beyond uh, yeah, we moved the goalposts to be fair. Uh, but but not exactly. We just said we gave us a little bit more room to grow. So at 440, originally Mamba was at 410, and it still is. But we're like, you know what? We think we could go further. Let's do 440 for this brand new buck. Uh, what were we calling this one? This is the is this the heavy? Are these the heavies? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the heavies. Yeah, um, the heavies. Well, at least temporarily. Uh, so this is War, the Pachydine officer, Rhino. Um, anything you wanted to share with the folks about this figure? Uh, I mean, we're going to get a bunch of great use out of this, out of this tooling. You know, I mean, right now you, you see a rhino, but there's a bunch of other animals that we plan on using for this. Uh, it'll have, you know, pretty similar articulation to what Thane is. Um, but the, the, the torso is going to have an articulation that's similar to this, which is what the females have as well. So in case you can't tell on my grainy internet, instead of an ab crunch, it's more of a, it's like a, a it's the articulation that's right under the, the pectoral muscles. The and diaphragm like cut? The, uh, the waist yeah. swivel, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, all that armor is going to be removable, so you'll, you'll have a lot of uh, customization options. Um, yeah, he, he's he's going to be a, a nice, big, fun figure to, to uh, intimidate your, your standard size AWOC figures. Yep, and also so brings up that uh, Zawar can also be completely nude in case that's a draw for some people. Yeah, we should say yeah, that he, he does not have it. speedos. He does not have briefs underneath. Right. He has uh, he has a crotch right. area that matches the color of his skin. I oh, believe in Hollywood. <laughs> Great. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like those things they yeah. use in Hollywood. To, I anyways, think the reptile buck is the same way. Yep. 
We got yeah, naked the reptiles. reptiles, a nude book. There's no, uh, there's no briefs on it. Uh, a thing to note about this artwork, which you told me did a great job, but uh, he'll have three sure. fingers instead of he'll have like the turtle style fingers, you know, uh, and the feet will probably be slightly thicker just to make sure that, you know, it's going to stand properly and not be uh, too weak. Mm -hmm. uh, Ebony leopard, about the size of Marvel Legends blob. Mm. He, how, how tall is that figure? He's it, it's. I think I, I think so. I have it. I have it upstairs. What's funny is uh, I had been wanting that figure, and I finally found it at GameStop, and I noticed it had been opened, and it had been like returned so recently that like you know how we all heat up all the figures to like pop and swap the parts. It was still like it still was, it was wet, so like so I must have like returned it like hours before I I wound up picking up the uh, the blob figure. I'm. I can't wait. I I really want to get to this rhino. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe uh, even more so, than Mamba. Uh, game, more than Mamba. Game huh? Quest asked about yeah. what's he asking? Let's see. Sh let's show, have, show, show the hippo. Show the hippo. Yeah, 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 let's see the hippo. Let's see the hippo. Yeah, Kato's yeah, yeah. starring though. So I gotta I gotta are... say there's a there's like Game Quest and Austin and and like if Tiffany's still here, like I think there's a bunch of people that are waiting to see the heads. And so we <laughs> like we can come back around let's, to questions. Well yeah, let's show the heads head, off. It's we're teased hands. enough. Look we're right at the forty eight minute mark. Let's Well, you got four hundred seventy thousand real quick. Like you got yourself Love a it. hippo, um, and we're talking about uh, what are we talking about in terms of um, what's going on with this mouth? Because hippos got big old mouths. What are you thinking, Jason? Yeah, the, the hippo's mouth will open. Rawr. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be just displaying it with the open mouth. Yep. <laughs> I know will I will. Be like a, I'm going to need a handle two on the back boys. that we press, and then a bunch of marbles will go inside its mouth, or is that a different toy? Definitely not. <laughs> oh, okay. That's Got a different it. toy. We'll do the, the pink, green, a yellow, and yeah. orange version. Actually, yeah, how fun would that be? be? Uh, just, just do that for yeah. like as a convention exclusive? Yep. That would be yeah, awesome. Yep. A, a four color version of it, uh, convention exclusive. Right? For, what, what convention would that be good I for? Mean, come on. Uh, Power con that would maker really con work. or something designer con <laughs> something yeah that would totally be a designer con deal uh -oh. so there you go everything no. all of yeah. these will get the alternate heads and extra hands too we got a we got a quick they unlock around so oh, look at this. just super chatted twenty Canadian to show off the freaking heads yep what? solo center oh, awesome right. dude well, you, all right you gotta, show it now. gotta give the people what they want. Um, especially when they're, I am a they're slut and a whore, and you can buy my attention. I was gonna say, did they shove that straight in your undies or what? Yep, yep. it's folded well up done. nicely. Well done, solo sinner. Heidi Whitey's. Bam! What are we looking at here? Oh, we have ba oh baby! Oh baby! Head sculpt for Mother Mala, and it looks incredible. This is her her field marshal helmet. Oh, look at that. It looks even better there because there there's an update. So those those renders uh didn't have as much detail on them. The the mask, yeah, yeah there you go. You can see the mask better there and there's more detail in the helmet than there is in the render. Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't painted her hair in these photos, but you get the idea. I don't think her eyes, yeah, I hadn't painted her eyes yet either. But that's okay. You guys will get the idea. This is just a little sneak peek. We'll be doing a uh, professional photography uh, on Wednesday. Oh, don't be cutting oh, what was that? real quick. Before that, yeah, I, like, oh how my. do you? Can we just talk, can we talk oh process my. for a second there, Jason? Yeah. So there's the eyes, but how do you? So you're you're not you're painting those things last, even though you might like. Oops. You're you're painting everything uh, around so it, what and then going from, in after. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like like this. These images are like like just laying down like the base colors. I haven't painted it in these photos. Um, uh -huh. So what I did was I put skin tone first, then I masked all that off, uh, and then I went ahead and uh, adding all the little highlights and everything. And then I pulled off that that masking, uh, which is why her little faceplate like looks uh, kind of like gunky right there. All that's cleaned right up there. now. 
Uh, and and any time, like in, you can kind of see like paint and stuff off to the side. I tend to not worry about you know when I'm laying down the initial layers. If I get a little bit of paint on a part that's not intended to have it, uh, I know I can always kind of cover it up later. So you can see gotcha. the hair is like just completely purple right now with a bit of flesh color on you know where it was masked off. Uh, mm -hmm. All that's been adjusted, and fixed now, but. Um, yeah, it's it's a fun just it's just like a simple recipe. You just I just follow the recipe and, and paint it and uh yeah, I mean I've done enough to where I'm kind of used to what uh the, the process is. Yeah, I, I that's amazing. It's great. And then talk to us about what's going on like how do you get those eyes done with with them being so for like that's pretty far inset in there. Yeah, um so, so whenever I paint eyes, I kind of tend to paint them uh, similar to how someone would. It's almost like a pool stick. So what I do is I hold the I hold the figure, and then mm. I use my finger to kind of like guide the paint brush in. And in the brushes that I have very long, so I'll I'll, I'll guide it in. And, uh, I'll do the darker colors. Well, the, I'll do the whites of the eyes first, and I'll do the darker colors, and then follow it up with uh, lighter colors. Uh, so the inner, the the lighter color of the uh, eyeball will be next, and so then I'll add the uh, the little reflections and such. Uh, but so yeah, this is just to kind outside, of uh, give the idea. You went outside. Yeah, I'll do the, the eye, I'll do the eyelashes inside. and stuff first. Yeah, yeah. Inside with the dark, and then could go back with that yellowish of the. That's amazing. Yeah, I I would love to do a video. I would need someone to like actually film it. I wouldn't be able to like I've tried to like film before, but it's, you know, I I can't tell it like what's in the frame and what's not. Yeah. So yeah, there she I, is. Jet, I know Inu Tabi's like me. I think Jadu and and Mala are two of my probably my favorites from the the initial mm -hmm. wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know just Tommy, such great I characters in the more. comic book that it's like we couldn't yep. justify like putting off releasing those any longer you know they just are essential parts of the comic book and they're such great characters and I know I'm obviously biased but I think once people read the comics they'll be like oh thank god we don't have to like wait to get these figures because they're integral yep. parts of the story Amazing. And that's my messy little yeah. workstation right there. You can see some little yellow sneak peeks off to the side. Uh, you, you probably won't be able to tell what it is, but that's just some random dilly bobs. Enhance. Luckily, they're out of focus, Enhance. so you can't tell what it Enhance. is. Enhance image. Hmm. <laughs> it reminds hmm. me of that uh, a future um, episode when he's like, increase the resolution, and they're like, we can't increase it. <laughs> so this is Dan's work right here? This is Dan's Correct. work. Yeah, he actually did the entire figure. Um, he cool. just recently did those those two heads as well. Uh, Arlen did all the brawlers. Uh, he's working on the alternate brawler heads now. So shout out to Dan Mitchell, uh, Death Metal Dan over on Instagram, doing great Dan work. He's so awesome. I love Dan. And oh, wait, Dan's messaging me right now. Let's see what he's saying. Chardimus <laughs> and the team were very happy about that. <laughs> Huge tracks of land. Shout out to uh, Jason for this man. Like those paints are great. And then any uh oh oh and then oh, and what, then what? Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got what our our bad the... beyond. Yeah. So again, so we haven't. This uh, is also we haven't Dan? Seen versions of these characters. In the yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be donning these helmets at some point in the second story arc. Uh, and this just kind of showcases how, you know, the Horde, House Horde has a lot of access to uh, advanced technology. So she's definitely taking advantage of that uh, with her, her helmet right here. Look at that detail and that sculpt. Mm -hmm. Oh, he Damn. knocked it out of the park. I love it. It's just so cool. Yeah, I, I love the fact that the her and, helmet uh, is so much more technologically advanced than what we see uh, with like Chinari helmets, which looked a lot more just typical, like Spartan armor. Right. This looks like there's there's a lot more going right. on inside that helmet. Yeah. Yep. I I think of uh, 
I think of the like Chinari wanting to be like more like pure, like kind of warrior, uh, uh, the, the the old school warrior aesthetic, and and wanting to be you know not as so attached to the uh, technology that they do have access to in the world. Uh, it, that kind of presents its own challenges. Well, let's see yeah, it does what have these an will look like. Ooh, look at that. Let's see what this will look like. Ooh, painted, I love the little I vents wonder. on the side. I bet, I bet we have an image of it painted. Let's see. I think we do. Let's check that out. I, do we? I bet hmm. we do. I bet we have a file. Maybe. Oh, well, well, on the way there, know. let's take a look at this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> on the way. Boom. There we oh. go. Look oh, how mean that man. looks. I mean, come on. You know what? I, I, I love putting these side by side, by the way. Baroness. It's funny how the lighting's so different because that's the same exact figure. Uh, sure. But I'm sure, using sure. my little uh, rainbow lighting to, so it's like really bright lighting. Uh, but I, I'm planning on putting that on this figure, you know? I think it'll look mm -hmm. pretty cool. I'm planning to do what I did with that Baroness figure when the that Baroness came with those uh, hel the helmeted head. And I used yeah, those to oh create like groups to go with Baroness. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this. That's so Jadu is going to have like two warrior females that sort of travel with idea. her as her guard. Um, yeah. With the helmet. And the little necklace is removable. So like, you know, the necklace yep. is removable. So you can have like these and then maybe like have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a different look. Yep. Get Dang, a couple. Awesome. We love you. Great work, Dan. Man, get, get a couple more female figures. Do a little bit of dyeing. Do a little bit of painting, and there you go. You can have uh, build out a few more, a uh, few more characters. Oh, you know so, what's funny? Yeah. Let me say this real quick. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So first thing I want to say that this print is partially failed, so the eyes are going to look smooth, like in the renders. Uh, but I also changed the eye color to like this. Uh, mm -hmm. The same pink as her hair, so they like really pop. Like this was oh, nice. this was fun, but like now they're like really like glowing. They look like they're glowing. Uh, I did pointed it out earlier today. So full disclosure, my eyes have been like really fuzzy today. I, I know that it's gonna it's gonna be like certain days where my eyes are just fuzzy as they're healing. Um, but he like I sent him the photos and he's like, this looks like an old photo, and I was like, oh yeah, it's, that is. But uh, yeah. She's got the uh, those glowing, like pinkish blue uh, eyes now. I think. The oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they're those pink like in there. The those eyes. eyes. Huh. <laughs> and you said the necklace comes off, right? But but the necklace yeah, is you connected. Yeah. Remove the necklace the and the strap, strap though, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is all one piece, though. Correct. You can. Uh, the necklace and those straps are one piece. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, you can take off her arm gauntlets. You can take off yeah. uh, the 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 belt and the loincloth and her uh, her shin guards as well, or her greaves, depending on what you want to call them. So, uh, you know, if you want to have a, an ape warrior in a leotard, you'll be able to do that. This neck piece is. But I mean, look was... how this looks so freaking cool. Yeah, it does. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. This neck piece is was temporary, right? That's is that something that is not going to be in the final, um, right it's going to so be more of that fur. is her that's her neck piece so so the reason the, the reason this model looks slightly different uh is because i actually painted mala's body i mixed up the two bodies uh but the problem is is that paint that horrid horrid teal we've got mm -hmm. like limited access to it so i literally didn't have enough paint to like repaint another one like the factory already has this uh, with the corrected parts. So like what you saw in the render is the action. Got it. <laughs> like you cool. notice that her leotard doesn't have like the wrinkles and stuff that it's supposed to have. Oh, um, right, right, right. Yeah. It's going to have all that stuff. It's just, it's literally, I ran out of that paint and it's discontinued. So uh, in order to, yeah, in order to like get it photographed, I used like the last bit of paint that I had. I mean, I could color, I could color match it, but you know, this is kind of the yeah. craziness of the Kickstarter. Yeah, no, it's great. Cool. So awesome. uh, Jadu will have the sort of wraps around her neck. Exactly. She has the wraps. Mala does not. 
Yeah. Uh, that's and so this cool. will be, again, this will be so cool. head packs that are unlocked eventually and in the package with the figures. Yes. It's already unlocked. We just haven't shown yeah, it yeah, off yet. Go. So those heads have already been unlocked. You're you're you know, if you're backing that figure, you're gonna get these these pack in heads at no additional cost. It's just a little thank you. <laughs> Dan's it's busting just my chops. A little thank you. <laughs> yeah, he is. Jason used yeah. the wrong files. And what's funny you know, I is will admit I was thrown off when you sent these. I was like, wait, what's going on here? And I was like, I uh, maybe he, maybe he's just playing with another figurehead and just painting. I was like, oh, that's cool. That I was hoping no one would notice. World. Um, well, what's funny is like it's. I mean, it would be super easy to just like repaint those things, but not having the access to that paint is what kind of like sealed the deal, unfortunately. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't talking about the neck piece or any. I, I was just more so the head. I was thrown off by it because it's cool. It's so oh yeah, yeah. Robotic it's such a jump. and like yeah, right. Yeah. Well, great. It's so hard not to spoil stuff for the next. Yeah. Uh, the next story arc is freaking bazonkers. Like if you like that little that little spread in in issue one, if that if that kind of did it for you, you're gonna really enjoy the next story arc. Uh, it like it already just like uh, it, it. There's no lead in. Oh. It starts off like just like bam, and then it kind of pulls back, and then it and it like lets you kind of catch your breath. And then it kind of like works its way back up to where you started off at the beginning, you know. So we're super excited about it. It's 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 coming along really nicely. I don't know. I don't know about you, Ian and Tommy, but I'm excited. I think this. Uh, gonna I can't get over the way. I can't get over that you can paint the eyes that good. See, they, me too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, you know, I did it. Be a big blob right on the head. Like yeah. Well. I, I do have jeweler glasses and I have special uh, paint brushes to do it with. Uh, what I will say is like, I am not afraid to mess up at all because I've like painted enough of it to where I know it's like, Oh, I messed up the, the pupil. Let me just paint white over it and then repaint it. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's literally like a 15 minute fix. I just have to let the paint dry. So uh, Austin's sure. asking about where to buy the comic books. Uh, essentially any comic shop, you can order them from the next issue. Uh, issue two will be offered in uh, in in the May. I get it confused because like I don't know if it's going to be in it's stores May. for May or offered in the previews for May. I'll, I'll actually need a I'll need a message Diamond and ask them about it. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just throwing this up because I I'm definitely impressed that you do what you do with the Pain Masters. But then if you you're familiar with this line at all, yeah, um, they're all great. And so it, I'm yeah. I am blown away that not only does Jason do these to the pain masters, but then like all the people do working on these replicating the, you know, however many are produced. It's a huge relief. How well it's they've fantastic. been able to do this. Damn. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll put you, uh, you know, cube tube with the super chat. Uh, Y'all Jason, you were, you talked to him. Uh, that's Quentin Bedwell. He's in love. Uh, the, He's in yeah, love with, with an ape. <laughs> the a walk lady's coming in hot and juicy. For the primates. Thanks, Quentin. Uh, Quentin Bedwell is one of the best artists that I personally know. He's a fantastic artist. <sighs> Amazing Great. stuff. Whenever uh whenever I was painting Mala's eyes on the uh on the helmeted version. Uh, so yep. the pupil has two colors. It's like a darker color and then a lighter color inside than the pupil. And uh -huh. uh, so the, in, the the dark color of her pupil is brick red. And okay. I was looking for it because I got just tons of paint. And I was like, it's brick something, brick something. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> I, <have to> <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Now, I will say that like, uh, so this is like still in like the kind of, a little a little sloppy phase i was still kind of cleaning stuff up on it and and the photos aren't that great but uh it does give you a good general idea of what her yeah. head's gonna look like no abs absolutely and yet this is true. and a lot so of them are like eyes you, are still kind you know yeah if you have like a local she's, like, she's got the mask on and she's ready to, to fight but like she still has the kind excuse me the kind eyes she's got yeah there's still warmth eyes. there Whereas, like right, the robotic exactly, yeah. eyes for Jadu's mask, I think is a, right. is a good, right. like, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, Amanda said <laughs> here, um, if you have a local comic shop that doesn't carry it, ask them to order it. They can order it through Diamond uh, and, and have them have them there for you. Uh, yeah. I can't. I can't recommend the comics enough. It's one of the, I, I think I've said it before early on that I originally got into AWOC as some kind of like weird filler for some nostalgia piece that I didn't really have, like for Thundercats and He Man and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But then once I read the comic, I was like, never mind. I would buy a Thundercat to fit into this story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, well, I just bought a monkey in. I bought a monkey in to go with these guys. Mm hmm. Yeah, the fiction, the the toys sold me on wanting the toys. The mm -hmm. fiction sold me on wanting the line. Yeah. It and then when you reread the fiction, yeah. it makes you want to break out your toys. Because I was doing and that. And then there's the always day. some kind of little. I remember reading, it was actually Jason pointed out to me like uh, something. I almost screwed up there. But the, uh, <laughs> there, there, was a point in the issue one that I didn't grasp the true origin of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And it was kind of a drive-by moment in the in the first issue where you're just like, okay, I'm reading the story. I was preoccupied doing something else, not focusing. And then Jason actually brought something up to me later. And I was like, where the hell is that in the story? And he was like, it's issue one. I actually I love it. Up, I was like, holy crap, I completely missed that. The, one of the most important plot points of the whole story. Yeah. Completely missed it. Yeah, it changed everything. Thanks, game. Uh, have we got we? better images of Jessa's alt head? I don't know. I have the same. I think mine are the same. Let's yeah, see. so Jessa's head is already revealed. It's in the image. It's just off to the side. Yeah, but he's asking, do we have a bigger version of it? Is there a... He's a bigger factory. Yeah. There will be Austin. Just yeah. Be awesome. You don't have like, um, random pictures. Not not to share right now, but you don't have other pictures of the stuff that you sent off before or like paint ma painting in progress? He does a bad job of documenting no. that stuff. <laughs> no? Okay. See, that's yeah. my problem. When I do stuff like this, I'm wasting time taking pictures and stopping. Um shall we uh oh Oh, oh, another tease. There it is. Almost. Kanji's. Look at that Alternate cheeky bunny. Head. Look at him. He's so cute. His emotive heads. Oh. And I, I appreciate that, like, you're given alternate heads, period. Because, yeah, for photography, when they're in action or when they're posing, you kind of want some options. But not everybody has right. to have a screaming face, right? And so this is right. like very much yeah. like this is Kanji's personality when he's right. emoting. Yeah, it's great. Exactly. And if you if you read the comic, he's like a rookie on the team, and he's like really eager to to kind of prove himself since like since the uh, the 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 Lupin uh, village, they're mostly farmers. There's not a lot of warriors. You know, he's kind of like you know the very few among them. Uh, but by the end of issue five, you've got he's almost his own team of archers that are, are helping him out. So you can almost kind of use this additional head as a little bit of an army builder. If you want to have like Kanji or Kanji and a couple of you know, other bowmen kind of giving him support, you could actually do that now with this alternate head. Love it. Little smirky bastard. Yeah. It was important <laughs> to kind of show his buck teeth. Like I really wanted to do that in the alternate yep. head. Yep, I think that somebody, uh, Justin said we need a chocolate bunny repaint. I, I noted, <laughs> I noted fun. it, I noted it. Yes, I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah. are we specifically yeah. talking Nesquik, Quick the bunny, or are we just saying uh, chocolate uh, bunny? In general? I think we're talking like Easter, Easter like bunny, next, like an Easter bunny. Next Easter, we get a we get a chocolate uh, Easter variant. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I love like it. That. I've got yeah, a those... running. Go ahead, Brick. Oh, it was a question about the ears, but uh, so the ears are fully articulated, but are they on a ball joint yeah. and can they pop out? Yeah, let me. Uh, it's it's so funny you asked that because I'm gonna actually send you a screen a screen capture real quick, so okay. you can actually see what the ball joint looks like. Um, and I can. I mean, that's great for my information, confusing. but to be clear, can I share it? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm sending <laughs> everybody it, else is like, like who cares? Want to drop onto the yeah, 
I'm sending okay, it to cool. you. You want to drop onto the uh, all right onto Will the do. screen so that people can see uh, yeah what the actual uh, the cavity in the head is gonna like receive the ear itself. Uh, uh, so just like a, a and great change of motion. I can't wait to see what people customize Kanji as. There's I know, right? Really yeah, cool. definitely. All that kind of stuff's so, really fun. Yeah. Uh, got it. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. So Dan Ooh, says he's got a high crazy. resolution image of Jess's alternate head. Let's see here. Uh, send it. I, Dan, I, I think we definitely it. want to see it, but I rather. I know. I know Dan. Supper didn't go to plan, so I'd rather him eat first before he sends that. There's no time to eat, Dan. We need renders. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. You know what? We can, do you want to show uh, Boone's alternate head while we wait? Or Dan's like I, excusing himself from a nice dinner to, to, right. <laughs> to right? go and send Lord a picture. <laughs> Remember the scene no. on, on Dumb and Dumber when uh, when Lloyd like throws the napkin down on the table? He's like, boom. I'm picturing that. You know, he's just like, hmm. Austin is trying to play coy here. He's like, just send it to everyone. I'll give you my email. Yeah. <laughs> send it to everyone. I you got know, it back uh, up. Kato. There you go. Uh, and I was going to say, uh, Austin, uh, it's, it, I, I know you're a little bit late to the party. I, I was sending the first issue of the comic to a lot of people. I have your email. I will send you the first issue yeah, in a PDF. I'm a copy of it. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the physical copies are sold out. We're obviously all for reprints at some point, but we want to read the story. So, okay. So, this is. I'm going to try a... to. Uh... Oops. Uh, just going to say this is a ball joint. So, uh, do you foresee this being relatively easy to pop out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'll be able to pop it out. Because um, I'm well, thinking. Can, it's just the nature of the way the plastic's going to work. Yeah, I'm can thinking we we'll do, you can put some horns jackalope. in there. Exactly. We get a jackalope or or other ears, folded ears. You get other right? uh, you know, printers, customizers. You know, we got to build that that part of this community up and like have folks go go to town and print some alternate ears while these things exist and you know, just have some yeah, fun I, with it. I started talking to customizers and, and asking them, like letting them know, like, hey, we would love, you know, we want to have some some customizers uh you know doing some fun extra stuff so it'll be nice to see what all people come up with yeah because i it's I'm exactly what you said team. earlier if you want to do an army builder you know you're right they will have alternate heads but um you know you could even create even a little more variety if you just right. had people who just swapping out ears and and you know oh god that, that'd be very cool very cool. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a big seller. I think I think that's going to be oh. one that. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, people oh. have been drawn to that figure yeah. as soon as we like showed it off. Oh, here we go. Boom! Look boom for the boom. Look at those. Take a look a boom, at babe. What is going on with that? Oh, okay. It looks like this is him on uh, when he's rabid. He's not a happy yeah. camper right now. Like I'm nope. picturing him, like holding his machine gun and just like, gr like growling, like, nice. you know. Oh wow! Really really Man, those images dancing look awesome. And then we'll get to those after this. I, think, I just want to say, like, the, so we've got his goggles. I talked about this the other day. That the robotic arm on Boone is probably one of the best looking robotic arms on any figure I've seen. Right? I agree. I love it. I, I think I love it. I get I like I I, I totally nice understand it. Is. Yeah, I totally understand that people want, you know, the other fox arm to to sort of have a fox for customizing and stuff like that. You will get one eventually. But you're getting this like this, this arm I mean, looks phenomenal. It looks yep. so yep. good. I have a question about this since we're here and we're focused in Thank on you. it. Will will these details? Because uh, the joint would be here, correct? And it would just be a double joint like the others. It's going to be slightly different. Yeah, it, it'll be slightly different. Uh, where that where that like the horizontal bars go, mm -hmm. it'll uh -huh. look, you know just if you look off off to the side, 
use use the organic arm as uh, as the that's template. You know, so it'll be okay, slightly yeah, modified. That that's a good. So it'll that's look a good essentially test. like this. No, I just wanted to make sure and yeah, to know yeah, that it's exactly yeah, so that it can bend. Yeah, good because exactly. I'll tell you that major blood back in the day pissed oh. me off. <laughs> it was such so. a weird choice. Like, why would they? <laughs> I don't understand why they did that. But you know. But yes, who knows? This, that's great. and we're getting um, the extra hands, three sets of hands, just like we normally do, but just for right. the robot hand, correct? Exactly. Beautiful. Exactly. Who does that? Very. We cool. do. Hey, Wong do. Spiro do. Anyways, the back to this goggle. Yeah. yeah. Goggle. Look at what that. Inu Tabi, you still? I mean, you're you're gonna go all in. You're gonna go epic all in. Uh, we'll see. I got <laughs> today's today. Let's do it on the live stream. <laughs> yes, right now, right now, in front of everyone. Do it on the live stream. Show your receipts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my my deal done before I got to head out to. Well, no, here's what you do, and we've been saying this: you, if you organize people, right, and you're like, well, actually, you know, I only want certain figures or whatever. So, and then split it. So in other words, Cato will get his all in and then he'll pay for the rest of yours of the ones that, you know, that you don't want. Wait, what? I don't. Yeah. I don't. That feels fair. So you're good. You're good. I feel like I'm not that nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I just know, know you do agree with that. that. Thanks. But you, you haven't met me. Everybody else in this room has met me in person yet. Yeah, but you, you want to live up to my expectations, right? I do not. He's nice and charming. I don't know if he's that generous, <laughs> though. That's, yeah. You can't wear a, a smoking jacket and an ascot I am, without being I am really here to cool. shatter expectations. <laughs> Goggles are great. Those are sculpted in, right, yeah. Jason? They sculpted onto sculpted. the face. Yep. Um, yes. Yeah, so, but, um, so we're really the, uh, just you know, want to emphasize. Oh well, I was just gonna say that that means that this guy has two extra heads. Well, no, no, he has one extra head, but you know, down the road, if you want like a raccoon figure that's grimacing, you'll have you know, face that's that's grimacing. So, uh, uh, yeah, sorry for the confusion. Unless we can talk okay. to Dan and making them removable, but we'll see. No, I mean, but the so we've got the growling. Yeah, I really don't think we're going to be able to have the goggles removable. Uh, but no, we're no, going to do like I, that no, other I, head without goggles. We'll offer that uh, at an, at another point, but it won't be it won't be a total of three heads. Ah, oh, so the alternate okay. head that comes with Boone in this it's Boone figure it. is the it's goggled not. head. It's the it's got the it. goggle. Head. Yeah. Oh that man, you head. should tell yeah. me we wouldn't have shown yeah. that. I know, it's, right? Yeah. I know it just it, it'll give us something to look forward to. This is just kind of a little sneak peek of you know future okay, Fox okay, okay. Fox's eyes. Fox okay, eyes. Clarify the extra heads with Boone are the goggled eye growling yes. face. That's, not yeah, it's the, the goggled head. Yep. Sorry, right. that's right. But just to that's just. Just to sort of show the process a little bit and sort of explain the process. And when people are asking for other things that that might not come with the figures, this is a good sort of inside look at sort of how this process works. So in the process of sculpting, you know, the alternate head, you, you, you know, and, and the goggles, you're kind of like, you, you're working out which ones are going to come with which figure and, you know, a future figure, right. if we do another character, you know, so on and so forth. They all get tooled. Like we, we have to get all the Not tooling exactly. and there's, if yeah. there's room in the mold to add more stuff, it, it exists before we make it. So, right. you know, if you're yeah. saying, oh, you know, what about the other arm for the fox? It's sort of like it, it, it will literally be sort of in the mold for the fox. It's going to be yeah, molded at the same time as the uh, the robot arm. So, yeah. So, so I mean, before that, you're actually going to take the time to sculpt the eyeballs and everything. And, and, and just then so you everyone that's watching yep. knows that watches right. an hour later, yeah. don't like, don't get so tunnel visioned on these are all the characters you're going to get. Like the whole point of this is to unlock new bucks so you can get yeah. a plethora of other characters. Like this isn't the only time you're going to see these molds. It's not the last rabbit you're going to see. It's not the last fox you're going to see. It's not the last uh, uh, big buck.
from the rhino that you're going to see. It's not mm -hmm. the last pachydine you're going to see. This is just what makes we're this simply introducing so good. them. Like, yeah, yes, we're, right. Yeah, yeah, we're we're debuting. This is the first in. This is the first offering of a fox who happens to be like a major character in the comic. You know, right? But, you know, like you said, like the, the reason we're doing all this is so that we can have all these parts. You know. He's the pilot of an airship, so you know the exactly. goggles make sense for the for the character too, right? Yeah. And and I think, yeah. you know, exactly. people saying, "Oh, I want a fox with the alternate, with just a fox arm," right? You may see the alternate head, no goggles, when you get the other fox arm. So that's what I'm <laughs> suggesting is like the parts library is growing more than just what's in the Kickstarter because right. because there's right. things that need to get tooled to go with sort of future versions of these figures. And it all kind of happens in process as uh, as as we sort of move through the box where it's like, OK, if if this buck is a particular animal, but it could be used for a different one, you know, you kind of want to work out how that's going to work, you know, so alternate hands for like different things and different feet and things like that all kind of gets worked out. Um, even if you don't see it, like I said, so there, there there's there's sort of more going on. Um, tooling wise and, and and sort of in terms of like the development of the line then you know just what's here so again when people are sort of saying what about this species would you would you do primal ancients for these bucks and so on and so forth like we can do all of that once we sort of get the funding to unlock the 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 molds and things like that so that that's, that's where the it's that's the key is getting the molds unlocked people realize especially just as collectors like the complicated nature of building a mold for reuse like there's a lot involved in that yeah. so doing that's why early on when they when you guys announced or when jason announced doing a kickstarter for series two and he told me the plan of like well the whole idea is to get like a whole new series of bucks and like that that's why the Kickstarter makes sense for Series Two because, yep. right? You you wouldn't have needed to do a Kickstarter if you were doing repaints on bucks you already had, repaints with a little bit of some new armor and new head sculpts. You wouldn't have right. needed to go out this far and stretch mm -hmm. out to a Kickstarter. But I, I've said it before, like this is this is a walk V two. This is like next level. How do we get the most bang for your buck and then allow the line to grow quickly from this point on? I mean, two waves in, you probably have more usable bucks than any other, maybe any other figure line that I know of for a series. Two. I feel like it's, it's comparable to like, uh, like, uh, mythic legions and, um, Marvel Legends have got all those different body types built up now. And what's so cool about this is now that we've expanded the part catalog this much, whenever we want to add a special figure, it'll just be, you know, oh, we just have to tool us this figure now. But like, it's not going to be this big drawn out thing where like, oh, we have to try to like build it from the ground up. We'll have like all these existing parts and we might have to do secondaries and a little bit more sculpting, you know. But uh, this is just so such a huge deal to us. Uh, yeah, that's why that's why the, the Kickstarter was the route to, to go for this this really well, epic project. Uh, Jason, I know you we, have you have another whole show to go. You had a whole other video to do in just a little bit. So I um, do. The, Rick, do I? <laughs> <laughs> you you do. I, have to, I do. <laughs> you do. Man, you I have do. to take a break. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, show them. You got some time. Uh, show you got them. some time. Yeah. Uh, can we before we move on? Before y'all move on, can you show them? I sent a, a, oh, a yes, message yes, yes, with yes, uh, the yes. ear, so you can see how the ear will plug in. Sure. We'll do. We have Copy Dan's images image. too. Uh, yeah, I put them. I put them in the chat. If Brooks sort of pulling from there. Okay. Uh, which chat did you put in? In our chat or in yeah, the, in our chat. Yeah, uh, it's in the Facebook. Chat. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll get to some of the questions that I've got started here in the background. And so there's that and first Jake. one, <laughs> and you can just scroll up to answer your question, Jason. Oh, okay. Cool. Let me do that. Oh yeah. So there you go. So now you can kind of see the range of motion that it'll be in. 
All right. right. Let's see here. And then here we go. Oh, we're not thinking there will be. Oh, more goodies. Don't share too much. I know. Share oh, all of uh, it. Oh, was I not supposed to share this? Yeah, oh. I got it. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Love you, mean it. Right on. See you, you know, Tabby. All right. Good luck Later. with your right. call in. Have I'm glad to hear that right. Kato's going to subsidize it. That's great. Yep. That's great. That was very I'm gonna Kato, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be his uh, sponsor. Uh, AWOC Sugar Daddy. That's yep. Yeah. Yep. Later, guy. Love you, mean it. So here's right. Jessa. Um, for folks who are looking for that alternate head, it's it's there. Uh, let's see. Hide. All right. Let's focus on some stuff. It's a little. It's a little more snarly too than the just head. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks great. What's going on with that? Uh, this little thing over here. Yeah, oh, oh how there? did that get hey. there? Oh, you huh. had going on there. What? What's that? Okay. We, we guess we might have some sort of female warrior army. You got some to the Ricky. Oh yeah, is that a glimpse of the future? Some... Yep. Just is a, there going to be a Magneto you know, tribute where, figure? Because we there should be. About you know, introducing the tooling. You know. Yep. Oh god, look at the weapons! I love those pistols. Yeah, she actually yeah. looks really good in black and gray. Just, just saying. Right. What's cool is like she's a cat, so we can do a whole bunch of different colors. You know. Yep. Wow, look at that. Oh, Jessa with that smirk. I love it. Oh, and they're opposite. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah the uh, the grimace, yeah. Mirrored smirk, mirrored grimace. Love the hair on, on Jessa. Isn't that fun? He ah. knocked it out of the park. I love it. And you can yeah, actually see, really the see the butterfly joints on the back. Right, right, right. This is the problem, man. You're looking at this stuff, and it's like... No, I'm just gonna get this figure, and then it's like, nope. Um, well, I know I'm going. I'm going after. <laughs> yeah, I know. I dare people to just get like one of each, yeah, and then you're I'm, like, I'm definitely gonna get more. I'll have an That's extra how it head, starts but off. then I won't have a body for it. So I gotta get right. an extra. Yeah, I need it. Damn. Give it the alternate, yeah. alternate angles. There's that Magneto ape again. Tribute figure. Oh, that All would right, be cool. gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off. Uh, did you get the link, Jason? I did. I have it pulled up, so I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go uh, prep and powder, and then I'll <laughs> hop onto the other one. Out of your nose? <laughs> it's, it's not his nose. It's don't not forget, his nose. Don't forget. No, you don't it, get it is his nose. The last day. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He so, has that extra uh, nail. Let's get those uh let's get those, uh, those pledges in, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Yeah, because things are just just keep getting generated. Assets get generated that need to be turned into plastic and need a big chunk of metal to be able to pump uh, those things out. That's so. an important uh comment. No, it, it's just a little sneak peek of uh future stuff. Yes. Yeah. This, this is, is just a, a tease. Yeah. Yeah. This is just in the same yeah. vein as what I was saying before. Like this is right. just this There's will be stuff. tooled. Yeah. This will yeah. be tooled to sort of with with the the female yeah. um yeah. you know troop builder uh for future right. uh goodness. That's right. All right guys, Damn. I'm going to hop off. Love y'all. All right, you're a madman. Have a good one. Get out of here. Good luck. Have fun. Bye. We love you. I don't know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, God, go on. So we'll Derek do. Calzell asked, "Where's the next Derek stream?" That's a re that's a recording. He's doing a recording with some guys. So that no, we no, stay no, tuned. No, no. Is it? No. It's a recording. Is it not? No, 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 no. It's. Is it live? It's, it's live. Yeah, oh. eight o'clock. But it's at eight o'clock, so he's got time. He's he's got he time. Takes a long time to powder. He may have a nap. He's got he's to come down a little bit <laughs> after the powder. So, um, but yeah, man, this is this is it. Like show, uh, he's not here anymore. Just show all the screenshots. Show everything we got. <laughs> That's, I mean, we're running out of stuff. That's we're running out of stuff to show. Oh, no, we're, we're not. <laughs>
Yeah, man, this it's it's a wild it's a wild campaign, and definitely it's it's you know it takes some um, explaining, and so there, that that's why it's been important because there's so much down the pipes that's not involved with this Kickstarter that is exceptionally cool. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, but it's 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 I mean it's a hundred percent because of this Kickstarter that we could do you know a female ape army builder right, and it's yeah. and it's entirely because of this Kickstarter. That you know, whatever species comes on the brawler buck next is is possible. Uh, like all of it is, all of it is sort of made possible by the support and the backing of people in the Kickstarter, which is is you know why it is important and why we're doing it this way. Um, and it's it's just uh, you know it it's fun to sort of share some of this stuff, the behind the scenes stuff, because this is this is the stuff that's like kind of boring sometimes but also it's like really fun you know because we're not sharing it with everybody so that it's not the same sort of hype most of the time and you know the the the, the different versions of of different characters not different versions sorry but like you know the chocolate bunny right as an example that's been noted and it and it's a good idea i'm not saying it's gonna happen you know in the next wave or whatever but it, you know, it could happen and it, it, it could only happen because the speedster has been unlocked because people, you know, love Kanji enough that, that we, that we, that we now got you're there. Saying kanji? Now you're saying Kanji. Okay. Now I'm Stop. saying Kanji. Kanji. Yeah. Don't say Kanji. What's up, Utama? What's going on, man? Utama, the artist is here. The king is here. Utama, Great work, Utama. Utama. Look, look at this the, stuff uh, getting translated. Design. It's got to be weird for him too, like to someone like Jason and Utama both that have kind of pieced this together to start seeing this stuff fleshed out in three dimensions and mm -hmm. yeah, people, like put it on a shelf or you know playing with it all the like with uh, Endless Fables who does all the figure photography. It's got to be a weird world to live in to where something that was once in your head is now mm -hmm. uh, in someone else's hands in a, in a non pornographic way. Of course, is what I meant that by. Well, I mean, yeah. But in this case, Utama, uh, do you ever when you're when you're pissed at Jason, do you ever just draw things extra complicated to paint? <laughs> you should. He's so hilarious. He's like, oh yeah, well I'm gonna inset these eyes way back in this damn helmet. You jerk. Paint those eyes. So we get we got some questions before we take off. Yeah, that, that yeah, uh, we might be able to answer uh, coming through. Yeah, this goes right back game quest. Asked, but still don't know if it's been answered. Is it possible we can revisit Pale and Wave One greats and pinless bucks down the road? I think the answer is going to be yes. I mean, it'll uh, be you... it'll be a ways out because it's sort of you know the the pinned bucks exist and they still look pretty damn good. Um, it, it'll be it'll be more it'll be more like if there's something that is that sort of necessitates doing that because so, part part of the issue is a little bit that like the 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 torso is fine and so you wouldn't really want this like you wouldn't do a mold just to do a pinless arm it, it right. would sort of be a waste of mold if that makes sense i know it's not okay. what people want here but i mean it could it could happen it could happen jason has always said that the story will drive the figures yes so as long as the, if there is a story driven need to redo a buck of pale then i think you're much more likely to see a penless use of pale if if there's not then it's pretty costly to just redo arms and legs yep character that's already molded yes so that's that's, that's, that's the that's kind of the issue is that like you know pale looks pretty damn good even with the pins um and pale unless he changes the look wouldn't necessarily need a new figure and right. and pale being the main character it's sort of like do you want the look to change just so that you get sort of a painless version of it now that being said you know and i don't speak for jason but you know just as a as a reference point you know marvel legends did uh cyclops you know 10 years ago Mm -hmm. Um, and it's only just now that they've sort of come back around and done the pinless Cyclops. 
Yeah. So it, there needs to be a reason to spend the money on making a new mold, it, which or is enough the, time. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, in yeah, ten yeah, right, years' right, right. time, if this sure. if this line is is super successful, and you know the cart, you know when the cartoon comes out, we'll revisit Pale and sort of and and sort of like. <laughs> go okay and I love there the now be there, there now may be new eyes on this line and we may yep. need to sort of right. do another pale um so you know that that's i mean anything is possible i'm just saying it it's not going to happen it's not going to happen soon because we got so much other cool stuff we want to do yeah and it and it all costs money and and um you know if we could print money if you guys have a lead on how to print money um, Dan, and Dan's, can, Dan's a time traveler, so he can make it. Yeah. If you guys, the if you guys want some amazing things to happen with AWOC, there's a nice little contribute button at the mm -hmm. beginning of that uh, of that uh, uh, Kickstarter that you can put any number you want. Hundred percent. Here, ten thousand dollars, pinless. Yeah. Go. Yeah. You want a, you want to fund an animated series? There's there's your pathway to do it. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. just it, right? There, they, like we need to get more eyes on the brand. We need to get more figures yeah. out. We need people to buy the comic and sort of get it into sort of more of the mainstream. I know all of us are familiar with it. And all of us love it, but but you know we need more people to love it. And then you know the the pinless sort of redesign makes tons of sense. The fiction, um, the fiction will will uh, will change people's mind. And Austin has mm -hmm. we we talked about this before, and he asked again to want mm -hmm. to want to buy the comics. I just don't uh, buy comics. I don't know where to get them. Um, local comic shop. Uh, ask your guy to order from previews. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think are they not available digitally right now? Yeah, Currently not, not available. available. No, they got they got pulled down from the Spirit Toys uh, online store to give the to give sort of Diamond, yep. you know, the ability to sort of push the the physical mm -hmm. media for a minute. Um, the 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 PDF digital download versions probably will come back at some point, but we want to make sure that you know, I, don't quote me on this, but like it, when when issue three goes to print for the second time. There could be, you know, issue one come out on the Spiro site in a PDF version or something like that, just so that if you're if you're not able to get the physical copies, you know, you may be able to get the digital. Because I know that, again, you had about a year to get them. Um, but if you're sort of new to the line because of this Kickstarter, we, we certainly don't want to uh, make it impossible to, to read them because... And... For all uh, of us, like, the comic book pushed us into the line oh, even yeah. Even further, and, so and not since they won't shamelessly plug, I will. Uh, if you go back on Adam and Bricks, uh, high there, um, oh, yeah, that's true. Talk, we we also yeah, do yeah. videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a great <laughs> breakdown of the early issues of the comic. So, if you want to find out more about the comic and can't get your hands on it, go check out some of their videos where mm -hmm. they break down, uh some really integral parts of the comic that'll get you up to up to speed on the story 100 so, percent. thank you for that kato yeah yeah we definitely uh, will do that solo center says uh jason bevan who's stepped out because he's busy um actually i put in the chat know. uh I, I revealed that the terms of his parole limit how long he was able to hang so <laughs> thousand dollar pledge uh limited spots we can work with you on oh you, you and dan to design a character that sounds brilliant for a thousand dollar spot it also sounds like a massive headache from the production side but uh, i think it's a really cool idea but uh that's tough man that's tough it would be cool though because it, we, we i don't think we could i i mean again i don't want to speak for Jason. I, it, yeah it would be it, it, yeah even if it was just a few characters, I, but there's yeah, still, it's not, it's not going to happen. There's, it's not there's happen. Much like legal mumbo jumbo that has to go along with that. Like who's, yes. idea is it, who gets paid for it, but it, it's crazy to think about, but like the lawyer side of that is like a pain in the tank alone, let alone the production side. Also uh, that would take up spots for like, uh, like, the characters that Brick and I are going to design and Kato are going to design. So you, I, I keep saying this: get in line. You got to get in line. Get in line. Well, there's, there, I can think of at least four to five people that want some sort of homage character uh, before we start doing 
letting you pay a thousand dollars to jump in line. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Austin M, uh, any extra color around the teeth or vents? I think this was for the Jadu head sculpt. Yeah, this is for Jadu. I don't. Th I'm. You know, I'm definitely going to make a couple suggestions to Jason. I think. I think maybe one more color needs to be on there just to break up the the skull mm -hmm. a little, little bit more yeah yeah but i think oh, that's you know in process right that's he he yeah, just yeah. he just printed those and painted those within the last couple of days so i don't oh, think yeah. that's final version that's about as fresh as a look or an idea as you can get he just mm -hmm. just got finished work ebony leopard asked what kind of primate is mala gorilla and that helmet is hardcore yeah what kind of primate is mala? uh i think jason said chimpanzee the chimp I think she's a champ. Mm. Yeah. Um, much more like uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, they, uh, mm -hmm. they uh, yeah, old uh, old Thane. He's a big boy. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted himself a fine chimpanzee woman. That's what he. I've wanted. always wondered if they actually were able to have. Um, we don't know. There. I mean, we Sorry, still don't know. Yeah, we yeah, still don't know. Don't want to ruin the story, I, I, but, uh, I didn't mean so much if they were, like what that would look like. Anyways, moving on. Can't, wait, are you saying that Thane and Mala may not be able to have kids? Where did Pale come from? Read the comic. Mm -hmm. Well then. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, I just want to. So Ebony Ebony Leopard says, so a chimp married to a gorilla. I just out of curiosity, and there's no judgment here, Ebony Leopard, have you read the comic book? I'm just curious. <laughs> and that's not, no, I'm not, it's not no, a troll. I know, it's not I a know. troll. I'm I love like, that you said no judgment, and then I just like a dick laughed. Sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Right. It's like no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, bad, I'm the bad guy. Hate me. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, back to it. Uh... If you do primal ancients, can we have a super dark gray fox? Ray Paz, I noted your uh, dark gray fox comment. Fox is my favorite animal, so I've already sort of looked at different colorings. Um, so as soon as we move on to the next fox, oh, there's gonna be um, a snow fox. Yep, mm. yeah, that would be awesome. And but a dark, but the dark gray is like is a very very common one, and it and it yeah. would look it would look phenomenal because it would be dark gray with like black basically, and it would be really really cool. We got a, a stealth fox. Uh, any thought of giving Boone a medal? He does look like the kind of character that would have a medal too. Yeah, and he's into the technology, so so we know that he'd dig it. He liked the look. He might even add a little extra flair. So hmm, who knows? Who knows? Uh, that is all the questions I had starred that we didn't okay. answer as we went along. On Metal uh, Tooth, I will say that Jason did <laughs> say... Thomas, that, where is Monsieur Bienvenu? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he is preparing. He's putting on his makeup for a more important show than this one. <laughs> no, he had, uh, he had a I was just injury. saying that the um, Jason did reveal that the hippo, he really feels strongly that the hippo should have some kind of maybe a gold tooth. Yeah, I could see the hippo with a gold tooth for sure. Solo Center says repins. It could just be a new uniform for Pale. I, I mean, for that matter, you could pop Pale's head on one of the newer bucks and call it Pale, you know, if you want to. Pop the. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there's going to be more versions of Pale, I think. I mean, so that's I'm, not. I'm uh, saying from a customizer perspective. Yeah. Could, yeah. Know, pop a hit on anything but yeah it's it's a tough it's tough and i'm not it's making tough. any promises of course who am i i'm nothing um but um i'm looking at this guy and really what we're talking about are the arms and legs yeah yes yeah yeah the arms and legs are, are everything pinned. else can receive so it could really just be mm -hmm. the bicep down yeah, yeah. i mean just throwing that out there okay cool good to know yeah i mean if if they happen to do another gray ape in that body sculpt, I mean, it's not, not impossible, but mm -hmm. to specifically have a new book just for pale is unlikely. I mean, not for, yeah. Time. Yeah. But I think, I think there's some customizing that can be done to give pale a pinless sculpt from the mm -hmm. consumer side of things. If you're creative, I'm not, if it's not like that. I'm, I'm, I, I and I hear it. what people, 
I hear what people are saying around the buck and pale and everything. I'm just going to throw this out as a, as a dream, as a wish while the pins would be cool. I'll tell you like now that we're getting all these new figures with extra heads, my brain wants to see additional heads for pale. Like, I don't even know, but that's just my dream. My wish mm -hmm. the pins oh, are cool, yeah. Yeah. but like, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I'm I've haven't had any issues with these with, with the pins or nothing, but, um, and I guess that just speaks to the point of like, well, you all have said, like if, if they stop to, you know, retool sculpt, do everything that they need to do to, to go back to these and make them pinless, that's money spent on other things like new characters, maybe new bucks. And so that's the challenge. It's like you go back and then you're stopping moving forward. And it, yeah. the question is, is it worth it? And so, yeah, the, the issue, the issue with, he, that's and a very he, good point. He said he understood too, by the way. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not I, I heard that he, he said it's all good. I, I'm just wrapping my head and for, for the record, you know, for anybody else wondering. Yeah. And that's, a, and, and that's a very valid point, right? A pinless, a, like a, a revision of the pinned, uh, ape buck would mean that you know enough money to 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 pay for a mold would mm -hmm. be spent on not making something that was new it would be making right. something that already exists in yeah. in albeit maybe a slightly not as good form um i don't mind the pin so i i don't have a problem with it at all no, they don't, they don't well, bother me near as bad on stuff like a walk as they do on marvel legends that have like like a, a a pin Spider-Man that has like yes, yeah. This the, the Spider-Man is a perfect example. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I don't have that issue when they walk. The color matches fine, and the joints are. Mm -hmm. like, There's only one thinking. instance, and I just happen to be having holding it. And this, I think, this is the only instance is the orange, gray. Yeah, I can but, see that. Yeah, but aside from that, like, you know. But it almost uh, to me a lot of the a lot of them even just felt like part of the sculpt like they kind of yeah. just worked it in so that totally it wasn't it wasn't an issue yeah female white buffalo mm -hmm. oh, that'd be so great that would be that would be cool albino buffalo would be awesome well i think we've gotten the majority of questions done we've been about two hours i don't even like you guys well enough to stay on for three so, fair enough. Fair enough. Gosh, but not, I don't mean that. Somebody's going to capture that clip and be like, that's, <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. The, well, I think you all know go. it's not true, and that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, I, I'm grateful. Thank you guys for coming on. Uh, I'm glad to have Inu Tabi here, Jason here, you guys showing awesome stuff. Definitely check out uh, their individual channels and then their their work together in, in this whole world of AWOC. We've, Adam, I've said before, um, there's enough internet for everyone. We just want the word of AWOC to go out. Mm -hmm. so the more people talking about it, the better. And, uh, Absolutely. And if there are new folks here too, there are Facebook groups. You want to tell them about that? Because I feel like we need to build those up a lot more. Yeah, there's, there's two specific Facebook groups. There's the House of AWOC, uh, which uh, is the uh, like the official fan channel of, of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And then there's mine and Inu Tabi's uh, uh, AWOC podcast group, where it's more centered on news and the folks sharing. It's, it's similar but different. Share your pictures wherever you want. Join the groups so you'll get... Uh, you'll get a better shot at getting news if you're grabbing both of those. So we, we uh, tend to talk a lot and share between the two. But uh, it's it's really built itself into two unique communities there of, of stuff that's going on. So House of AWOC on Facebook and the official uh, podcast group on Facebook as well. Both are private groups, so keep your porn out of it. We don't want it. If there's any porn in those groups, it's because we put it there. And they're animal warrior related. And they're animal warriors. That's that is that's <laughs> no. If that's I can do one part, up, actually, man, is, I'm not I'm not entering that world yet. Clip it, clip it. Uh, if I could do play my role again, that's right. I forgot I should do this. Let me just let people know uh, what's coming up. And so, 
Um, right now, after this, you can head over in about six minutes over uh, the Collection Nexus. Just type that into YouTube, and it'll take you right to theirs. Um, Jason, hopefully after fresh from peeing and powdering, will be on at eight o'clock. And then this is a this has been adjusted. Friday, the twelfth. This Friday will be over with Mad Hatter. And then this Sunday, we'll be over in Toy Connections. If you lose any of this, just check the social media. You can check it on my, uh, this is actually in my channel's community tab, but um, this information will be out there in multiple forms. But, and um, I would say bring a friend or tell five to go send them the link and tell them to go check these things out so that people hear it and we can really get that wave up and we can get to 500, what is it, 550,000 to fix Jason's internet? Right, just, 500. just 500 just 500,000 just 500 okay 500,000 to fix his internet if we don't get there if we stop at 490 to get me a hippo we're good real quick solo center with another super chat thank you so much awesome stream great reveals have to rework the kickstarter players now seeing those heads that's a good yep. sign uh, great work everyone especially dan which i, I do want to thank everyone that showed up in chat today those that gave the super chats much appreciated everyone hey wouldn't to watch thank wouldn't you, people boy. love to have dan on one of these videos i keep yeah, trying to get him yes, on and he yes, i keep dan. trying to get him on and he keeps he keeps saying oh you soon enough you we know soon enough battle. make the round yeah. dan you're invited Come on to the, come on. I'll he's in the chat, so he's hanging out. I mean, it's not like he's ignoring us completely. He's, he's, he's right now. Oh, let so me say Dan, one more I, thing. I do yep. a show called Cato Presents, Dan. You're welcome to come on and, and hang there out. There you with go. Him. Same You'll thing be... for Utama. He's in here, too. Special thanks to Utama and Dan for being the design wizards they are. Yep. I will uh, say ahead, this. Chris. Yeah, I was just going to say, copy the link to the URL of this YouTube video that you're watching and share this link because it might take a little bit before those images that we saw today are anywhere else. He's not sharing those. He shouldn't be sharing those on Collection Nexus. Um, they're here living in this video for at least a couple of days before we mm -hmm. send that to the Kickstarter. And you really, it's it's gonna, only going to go to the Kickstarter the updates. So that's not something that most people see. So this is where you send them. Send them to check it out. Hear hear us talking about it, and and let's do that too. Yep. Much appreciated, Brick. Again, Adam, Brick. Make sure you check out their channels. Thank you guys for being here. We yes. got three minutes before you can catch Jason on Collection Nexus. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, I'll see you guys in the chat there. I'm gonna go check them out and absolutely uh, listen to yeah. You're Let's also heckle. welcome on here. Heckle. Get on here and talk. <laughs> There's people that have have you have them YouTube channels that can uh, introduce you to the world. Thank yeah, you so we... much, uh, Utama. Thank you, Dan, for being here. Thanks to everyone in chat. Thanks for the super chats. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Brick. Um, let's go watch Collection Nexus. Cool. We will see them soon. Thanks, everyone.